Hey guys, welcome back to the QB Docs. Uh, today I have Gunnar with me again, and we're going to talk about a great exercise that you can use for you know full kinetic chain strengthening, especially for quarterbacks. All right, so we talk a lot about range of motion, the shoulder range of motion, the hip, uh, you know, trunk stability, shoulder stability, uh, and all of that. But we really haven't talked about an exercise that really puts all of those things together once you've worked on all those prerequisites. All right. And this is an exercise that you can use to really challenge yourself and challenge the whole chain uh, as a throw. All right. So the first thing that I have Gunnar do is he's going to face this way. All right. And I want you to do at home is I want you to get a band, okay, a smaller band if you have one. Uh, the person that's doing the exercise is going to stand in front. So I want you to stand right here facing the camera for me. Okay. You're going to flip, you're going to lift the band around your wrist here. Good. I want you to bring your right foot back, so a right big toe at your left heel. Good. And I'm going to throw this kettlebell in your hand just like this. Okay, so starting, starting position will be down, so bring it all the way down for me. Okay, and we're going to start here, all right? So I'm going to have his off hand on his ribs, okay? Just so it's giving him some biofeedback on where his trunk position is. We all want to keep, all we want to keep the ribs down, okay? This back foot is back just a little bit because during the acceleration phase of throwing, this leg is gonna trail until he follows through in the, the deceleration phase, all right? This is the most challenging position from pelvis on trunk is during the acceleration phase when that leg's trailing because people tend to have a weakness in the trunk and trunk stability or they have, tend to have tightness on the front of their hip and those hip flexors, all right? So what Gunnar's gonna do, he's gonna press this overhead now what the band's doing is that this band is going to try to pull him back into overextension. So it's trying to feed the problem, but what he's going to have to do is really use a lot of trunk control and a lot of this trunk stabilization in order to fight this extension moment, okay? The, the, the band was trying to bring him back into extension. We don't want that, all right? So he's going to press overhead, okay? Bridge down and come on back down for me. And he's going to do six reps, okay? So what this is doing is that this is putting him in a very vulnerable position, all right, throughout the whole kinetic chain, and that he's working range of motion through the hip, okay, range of motion through the shoulder girdle, which is really important, stabilization in the trunk, which is good, stabilization in the rotator cuff, and also strengthening of all these shoulder, all, all the shoulder muscles which is great, okay? Let's do three more. Good. All right, so parameters for this, okay? If you want to add this exercise to your regimen, I'll take that for you. All right, I would recommend doing this two times a week, 12 to 15 reps, okay? Start light and gradually build up. Uh, I would suggest using a kettlebell that's pretty light first, okay? Using a band that's light first because this is a very challenging exercise. All right. If you like that video, please check us out uh, at the QB Docs on our YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, or our website at k3humanperformance.com.